when the virtual world starts to feel like the real world. What is reality? Just take the red pill and step in the light. Experiencing mixed reality can be quite daunting at first, but I'm here to show you exactly what you need to do to get it working for you. This works on the Pico 4 and the Quest 3 at the moment. So get in your headset and the first thing you're going to need to do, I'm going to assume that you've already got a virtual desktop set up and running and all, all that stuff. It's all good. But let's bring some stuff into your room. So first thing I'm going to do is launch virtual desktop make sure your boundary is set because without this your pass through won't see it'll just be all weird and green so make sure that's set i always go a little bit bigger than normal this way it's not going to interfere when you're playing with stuff this pass through mode can be used with pretty much any game that has a green environment uh, you can key it out to different colors but i'm going to be using the green because most most games support that with different maps and stuff so all you gotta do is go to the streaming setting and there'll be a little option here that says VR pass through. Make sure it's turned on. Uh, unfortunately, you can only run 90 Hertz, but 90 Hertz is fine anyway. These are my green screen settings. This gives the best kind of edge to edge clarity on objects on characters and things you wanna bring in. Obviously you can't bring in anything that is green, but uh, green's a horrible color and why would you anyway? And as you can see here already, the, the play button being green is keyed out. So it gives you a little idea of exactly how this works. It's quite simple, but it's really effective. Once you've loaded into VR chat, it's just a simple case of finding a green screen world. Open your menu, go to worlds and just type in green screen. What you'll find is that there's quite a few of them already just kicking around. However, there are some worlds that are just one flat plane of green screen for stuff like VTubing. What you need really is a cube world. Um, this one here is just a massive green cube. So I recommend this one and it's a really small download. So that's always a bonus. Once you've loaded in, you'll see that pass through is fully kicked through, but your avatar is still there. This takes a little bit of time getting used to, and it's really hard to portray what this feels like, especially when other people join, because they're now in your living space. They're now in your bedroom. They're now in your VR shed for me. It quite literally brings an entirely new dimension to VR gaming. Pass through stuff is on the up, is on the rise. You got Apple Vision Pro to thank for that. And now we have the tools to bring that kind of magic to PC VR. Oh, and just a cheeky quick tip. If you're using a virtual desktop, just smash your two controllers together on the Quest 3. You get hand tracking. They're going to be bringing finger tracking soon, so virtual desktop is the thing to use right now. The upcoming Somnium Space 3.0 update will have a ton of mixed reality features built straight into the game. We're talking the ability to bring in your virtual friends into your environment, the ability to fade out the virtual world in favor of the real world, and there are going to be a ton of experiences specifically built around mixed reality. So keep an eye out for the up and coming Somnium 3.0 update.